Hey, here's a little tutorial on how you're going to log in to the back end of your website and edit these pages. So I will give you a link to get to this page and then the username and the password that you're going to need to log in. I always click remember me just so this information is stored and I don't have to look it up all the time. And once you get into this back end, the main area you will be using is the pages area. And here you can see all the pages on your website. So let's go to the home page. Once the pages load, then you're going to scroll down and you'll see all these little boxes. So this is called your um, visual composer. This is where your slide shows at. This is where text is at, left, right, images, all that kind of stuff. So really, it's a drag and drop composer where you can actually just click on a text box edit the text there, save changes, and then the one thing to remember is anytime that you make changes that you want to publish to the website, you're going to click update in the upper right hand corner to make sure that those changes save. And you'll go back to the main page and refresh it to get the changes to load. So that's how that goes. Um, let's go back to your pages. If I click on one of the club pages, You'll see all the text here. You can change an image if you want. Um, you could like X this out, add an image or change that, whatever image you want. All your images that you've provided me have been optimized and uploaded to the media library. Save changes. That's really all you have to do is change out an image. So really um, pretty self-explanatory on how to edit text and images. Please let me know if you have any questions. And again, really the most important thing is that as you make changes, you're gonna wanna click update in the upper right hand corner. One additional item I, that is relevant is the banner image at the top of your page. So let's go to that page. Oh, I think it's Shea Senders that I'm on. Yep, so you're all cozy sitting on the couch. If you wanted to swap that image out, that's gonna be contained in the right-hand sidebar under Featured Image. And you would remove this image and then click Add Image and it would open up your media library again. Keep in mind that that banner image is gonna to have to be sized accordingly um, to the dimensions that this actually is. But that's really the only size sensitive item. Um, on there and the dimensions are actually on the image when you open it up in the media library. So again, let me know if you need me to write, resize any images or make this any easier for you. Happy to help in any capacity to get you rocking and rolling.